We're in a startup and we see the vision and we are intellectually aligned and bought in with that vision. All those things are great. And the boss, we get there at work every day, 7 a.m. You and I work at 7 a.m., 7 p.m., busting our butts for this project. And the boss is stumbling in, hungover at 1030. But that doesn't inspire me to do anything for this team because he's not as bought in as I am. He's not a role model for it. And, you know, whenever we talk about making a change in the world, whether it's as a leader, uh, you know, inside of your organization or anything else, it all goes back to modeling for me, of modeling that right behavior of what you want for your team. If you go back to the intellectual stimulation, the, the owner, the leader is the one taking the risk also. That's how you inspire your team to take risk is you take calculated risks as well. Uh, so I want to throw that over to you. What do you think? What do you think is the key maybe to developing that skill of being a role model or, you know, being able to instill that pride, gain that respect and trust of your team? Well, it, it's, it's uh, following one of the five tenets of leadership that I believe in, which is lead by example. <clears throat> there, there should never be a do as I do, not as, or do as I say, not as I do attitude in an organization with leaders, because as a leader, you're still part of the team. You just may be the one that's in charge of the team. It doesn't mean that because you're in charge, you get more privileges. Although the military is horrific for that. Uh, the big military, big army, big Navy, Air Force, not as much. It's not quite as stringent in the Air Force, but the army and the Navy, uh, the differentiations between officer and uh, enlisted. Uh, I've always thought because I was SF and we didn't do that. It was, yeah, I was the dude in charge, but you know what? I was still part of that damn team. And if my team was sleeping over here in this crappy building, uh, which this happened to me one time, we were doing some training on the East coast and then I'm with my team and I'm the officer. Uh, I've got a couple of, uh, senior NCOs. And then I've got some junior NCOs, non-commissioned officers. The Navy wanted to put us in three separate buildings, the officer's building, the senior enlisted building, and the junior enlisted building. And I said, no, <laughs> no, you're not going to do that to us because we're a team. We're all going to be in the same place. We're all going to be in the same hallway working together because that's who we are. And they said, well, the junior guys can't, stay in the senior guys and the senior guys can't stay in the officers. So what do you want to do? I said, well, can you give me a room in the junior enlisted billets? Mm. And I'm like, oh, are you sure you want to do that, sir? I'm like, oh yeah, goddamn. I'm part of the team. <laughs> yep. Yeah. My team's over here. If my team is, is in the shit, they're not my team. If I'm not in the shit with them. So, mm -hmm. That, that is a, a foundational belief that I have is you have to lead by example. And, and by the way, boss, you are boss of nothing without the team. And if you want to be boss of the team, you better act like you're part of the team. 